The big reveal for Battlefield 6 is going to lay the foundations for the entire game's life. As we saw with Battlefield 5, a poor reveal and lacklustre trailer filled with unwanted controversy placed a large question mark over the entire game, with each update trying to play catch up. Every time something was released, it was scrutinised, and more so than it should have been really because of that initial trailer. It got people thinking about the game in a certain way, and that is how influential and important a reveal trailer can be for a game. When we consider how good a Battlefield reveal trailer could be, I think that you don't have to look too much further than Battlefield 1 back in 2016. Currently, that trailer sits at 66 million views with 2.3 million likes and a 99.9% .9 like ratio. Epic Warfare, huge scale, a gritty atmosphere and a new World War One setting. It was something that got people talking. It was just over a minute of exactly what we wanted to see and it did an excellent job of giving you a taste of what was to be expected from the game. Assuming DICE go with a modern setting for the next game and that's kind of agreed on really between everyone in the community, I'd expect a teaser showing off a small part of the game that would indicate the time period, maybe the sound of a particular helicopter rotor or a jet afterburner, something to indicate that it's fairly modern and maybe with a bit more research you could kind of work out the setting. That's what I expect to see in most previous Battlefield games, they give us a little teaser whether it's a five second clip, with Battlefield 1 we had kind of the shadow appearing over that soldier which was eventually that behemoth, it'll be something like that something just to get people excited. Then we'll probably get a trailer that will set the internet alight, or at least hopefully it will, in a similar fashion to the Battlefield 1 trailer. As for the media team working on the trailer, they are the best of the best. They've done some amazing jobs in the past, and when they are given that freedom to make something they want, it'll certainly be a smash hit online. They are Battlefield fans, I know some of them, they are massive Battlefield fans. They love the game, they know what we like, and they know what they like, which is really good Battlefield. Battlefield 3, for example, is a favourite amongst a few of them. Give them a chance to express themselves, and I guarantee the trailer will be a massive hit. So what do I want to see from the trailer? The key, in my opinion, is to focus on what Battlefield does best. Big hitting music, action scenes that don't depart too much from what is actually possible in the game, and absolutely no rubbish gimmicks. Battlefield 5 had a ton of that. It had the cosmetics, the rolling, all of this stuff they wanted to throw into the game, saying, oh, you can have this in Battlefield 5. Look how amazing our game is. You don't need to put that in the trailer. You just need to make it kind of hype up what could be in the game. So big explosions. In Battlefield 4, we had the Levolution. We have players running together through really cool environments and vehicles and all sorts going on in front of you. It doesn't matter if that never really happens in the same way in the game. Although in Battlefield, it usually does at some point. The point of a trailer is to give you a feeling of what the game's going to be about. If we go back to older Battlefield games, we did have that feeling. I think in Battlefield 3, maybe it focused on the single player and then a multiplayer trailer. And really, Battlefield 1 is the perfect example of that movie standard trailer that people now expect in the modern day gaming landscape. I am hoping to see a reveal of some key locations and potential maps that we'll get to play in BF6, plus a few weapons and vehicles. I know most people basically want to see an updated version of Battlefield 3 with Battlefield 6, with the return to that amazing gameplay, but as I said, for the trailer purpose, it's purely there to hype up the game, and I'm not too bothered about seeing first-person gameplay perspective. I just want a taste of what's to come. I think that we'll probably see more of that with the multiplayer reveal or maybe some alpha gameplay. The trailer is just there to get me excited about the main themes and kind of overarching ideas of the game. So what about single player? Is it something that needs to be included? Well, potentially, if it's going to be in the game, it would be nice to see a couple of clips in the trailer. Maybe you'll see a famous actor involved just to give it that presence. We've seen it in previous Call of Duties and Battlefields where you kind of have a hint to what's going on in the campaign. They could follow War Stories again. I don't know. People do enjoy it. I did play it, but I play Battlefield for the multiplayer. So I'm on the fence with that one. I'll just see what happens. With the other major factor of will they include it or won't they, it's Battle Royale. Battlefield Battle Royale, that on its own sounds good, but should it be a part of Battlefield 6, I think it should be 
its own free to play. It would, however, make a lot of sense to hint at a Battlefield Battle Royale game in the initial trailer. As I said, has to be free to play and essentially copy the approach Call of Duty Warzone has successfully forged over the last year. EA wants to be in this area of the market with Battlefield and as Firestorm flopped so spectacularly, a completely different approach is needed. Don't be surprised to see some parts of a Battle Royale hinted at in the trailer. So what about the other two major things that have been hinted at recently for Battlefield? 128 players being the first. How would they get this across in a trailer? As usually we see action shots of small groups of players fighting over a little area or objective and maybe the odd bit of vehicle gameplay as things fly across the screen it looks all awesome. How would you have 128 players in there to indicate that that's the sort of size we could have? Maybe they could have some sort of call-in or commander voice that indicates there are so many squads coming in or something like that just a little hint maybe you could have a drone shot showcasing so many soldiers running in and you'd be like well if we pause this scene and as we'll see lots of youtubers will do this count up how many soldiers oh we've got 90 soldiers here well that's going to mean we're having a larger game of conquest or something like that i'm kind of just making things up as i go along here but that's what you expect to see in a trailer because fans will slow it down they will freeze frame it and they will work out what you're trying to hint at that's the sort of thing that i expect to see as we probably will move up from 64 players to 128 or maybe just 100 but it will definitely be a larger number the second thing that people have been hinting at is a return to Levolution, but on a far larger scale. It was spectacular in Battlefield 4, and for trailer purposes, the Shanghai Tower was just incredible. It still holds up today, to be honest, if you go back and play it, as one of the most amazing things you can see in an FPS game visually. It is pretty damn cool. Many have hinted at the return of full map Levolution, and this is a feature that could potentially be something spectacular. We will see. However, for trailer purposes, you can guarantee DICE will show this off if it is in the game. Expect to see buildings falling down, squads of players working together to blow the thing up, and then a final closing shot of a large tower crushing something similar to that Caesar Shanghai Charlie Tower. The final thing that I think many people will be interested in, and it's the first thing you usually see, or in this case hear with a trailer, is the music, the backing track. Are we going to see a Battlefield theme or a remix? They'll certainly have a, an original soundtrack for Battlefield 6, and hopefully it sounds a bit like the glitchy Battlefield 3 and 4 sounds, although I did really enjoy BF1 and BF5. All the soundtracks are quite good. But with it being modern, I expect them to go back to that kind of glitchy Battlefield theme. Both work for me, but usually with a trailer, you see a remix of a modern song. And the reason you'll see that is because non-Battlefield fans can then associate with it it can be used outside of the Battlefield community and it will help to build up the hype. I'm not talking about dropping in some trashy modern pop song, but potentially, as an example, if Battlefield was set in Vietnam, you'd use a Vietnam era song, similar to what you have in Hollywood movies. What will they do for the modern setting? I'm not too sure, but expect to see something a little bit different in the trailer with music. That's what I'd expect, just to separate it from everything else. And then the future gameplay and maybe alpha and beta reveals or whatever it is might use the new battlefield theme so what do you think about this i know i haven't been making a whole load of videos outside of the top plays and only in battlefield series recently because there's just not been much to focus on but somebody mentioned what they wanted to see in the battlefield 6 trailer so i thought i'd give my opinion on it before it drops it is due to drop soon i believe it's going to be at the end of march maybe at the start of april we will see hopefully it drops very shortly after I release this video so we can see how wrong I was about everything but you know I do know my stuff about Battlefield I've been playing it for a long time that's what I expect to see and hopefully it is on the same sort of level as Battlefield 1 hopefully the next one gets just as much hype thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video